Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So here we are, pretty okay team. It's an infantry pulse team, not max merged in any way, but just solid, solid ideas basically. Um, you can see there's a lot of infantry pulses going around. <laughs> so. I was thinking about the meme play where we go in turn one, attack Brave Dimitri, but I feel like it's just not a good idea. That's just my thought because we have no time for setup. And we don't really gain much from it, other than we don't have to face tank glaciers. Uh, we've already calced it out here. Tethys is uh, not going to be able to one shot Nino because of sabotage attack here and so that get drops her down to 40 attack 50 54 since i don't think we're gonna spend our time to break the duo's hindrance just to reduce her attack and res by three technically speaking probably a good idea but we're not gonna do it <laughs> um anyways so the 40 50 54 attack Nino can get up to 50 defense as long as Mill is in range and Caden's also in range. So that's base 4 damage and her glacies. We, we'll just pretend she's not being debuffed by infantry school, but in practice she is. So there's two fewer points of res. But 49, 53 res is going to be 42 points of damage, aka not enough to take out Nino. And of course, Mr. Dimitri here does not have attack defense unity or anything. So if his 60 attack, which is actually going to be 53, drops to 43. So he basically does zero is the point. And of course, he is running courtly candle and deflect magic. I guess he also has, uh, wait, it's 65, 58, 47. Yeah, we're still fine. We still take zero. I almost forgot about courtly candle giving up plus five attack. <laughs> Uh, in con in concept, I don't think we're going to be at 1 HP anyways or anything of that sort. Uh, we also do get an okay heal off of Tethys, I guess. 53 attack, or 53 res though, or 51 res, does mean she is going to take quite a bit of a hit from Nino. Or sir, not take as much damage as I'd like to heal off from Noon Time, but what are we going to do about it? And uh, Rajat, there is one distant guard here, so Rajat has a total of 78, how much you call it, 78, um, right, 78, yeah, 78 res bulk, which means Nino can one shot. So our play is going to be setting up, breaking all these structures here. We're going to have Peony, Nino, Caden, Air, Mila, it doesn't actually matter where Caden Actually, it does matter where Caden is. Caden has to be here. Air will just have to move somewhere. Uh, we are have to isolate this column with Mila, otherwise this harsh command is going to go off. And while we're going to be baiting from here, and that won't be a problem. The problem, of course, is Triandra dancing. And uh, I believe Bramamon would move first for Altina because... He doesn't have an assist, so he gets to teleport even straight up with ground orders, which I, I don't think we want that scenario. <laughs> so unfortunately, we have to have air in a derpy spot, uh, which is not ideal. But of course, we'll smite up Nino. Nino will be here. We take out Rajat. We dance with Peony. We repo with Nino. And then Caden's going to be here. So we can, for example... Um, For example, uh, I guess we're not going to be buffing Nino. It's not necessary to buff Nino speed. Um, I guess the important thing is that we're missing out on res. Wait, no, that doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, we're getting attacked for defense. I think it, it only really matters. Okay, yeah, so now we have to think about a reasonable way to do this because I ideally want to go in... Probably turn three, even though this catapult does snipe out our bolt tower, which is huge for them, because uh, that would really help us out in these matchups. But technically, like we can hit end turn in Altina's face with, say, Mila. Uh, Mila's does 
more than zero damage, which is better than nothing. And of course, this Altina isn't running Vantage of any sort. So all we have to do is not die, forehead. <laughs> and uh, with Caden and Co, like, Altina at base does basically zero damage to Mila. And she also charges up Bonfire for us. And I think Mila can even double with the help of, like, Caden. So we have options. And of course, Bramamon, the problem is going to have turn one Dragon Fang. So we have to player phase him. Um, I, I I did Calc Air, Air's matchup against Bramamon. But she is bonus, so she does have the plus 10 HP, which is huge for tanking. Um, she has overall 92 res bulk. And so if Bramamon has, will have Void Tome active, the 63 attack, which is a 31 damage Dragon Fang with 63 is 94 so you can see which is effectively 97 because of lol so you can see we're not quite surviving unless i did it wrong which means we would need sabotage attack on him which we can do as long as he's adjacent to someone we would need sabotage attack for her to survive a hit and at that point with um what is that 61 attack against his 29 defense we're good to go to um two shot him so it's basically just a matter of living the counter. And we're not going to be using air to attack Altina anyway, so we're not concerned about that. But anyways, we need to do this in a certain order so that we don't have to waste a turn moving our units. Because I think this ether structure is going to be a problem as well. So let's see here. I think we probably just... The turn before we go in, I think we just need Peony here. Nino breaks that and Peony dances, which means we probably just need this to be broken. And oh, that's a bit unfortunate. I don't think we can do this turn one, can we? Wait, so if we do something like this, then we can have Kaden break this, you break this, and that's terrible. <laughs> uh,. I guess we could do Nino breaks this, Kaden breaks this, Air breaks that, Peony breaks that. That seems okay. We'll do it. Uh, we'll, we'll see if there's something wrong with it when we uh, get meme done. But we just gotta take some time to set up. Might as well just break that with Nilla because there's no real rush on her end. Um, so at this point, we are actually... Oh, I, I guess it, it did matter. <laughs> L. We're gonna have to waste a turn. Uh, I guess that's fine. Wait, maybe we could reposition with Kaden, smite Nino up, snipe the duos. I don't think there's any point in sniping duo cinders. It it saves us like a few points of HP. I don't think it's going to matter, but it, well, in before it matters. <laughs> um. So we can do that. Uh, well, we're going to do this. That's that's a given. So now it's a question of how we're going to do things here. I guess we're going to have to burn a turn to set up again, which is a bit unfortunate. Because we do need the defense buffs. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to mess with missing the kill on Demetrius. I already calced it out. And even though he has Courtly Candle and Deflect Magic, it doesn't matter when you're taking way too much base damage. And uh, he can't proc Blue Lion Rule because, well, Nino's got straight up more defense than him. <laughs> so we're fine there. Um, trying to think, what can we do? I think we, we can't do anything now. We kind of goof this. Yeah, we're, we're just going to take an extra turn to set up then. We just got to make sure that we... Don't ultra goofball it. And, uh... Wait. Uh, this is not ideal. Yeah, we should have... We should have just, like, at least pull up mini spreadsheet or something to examine this. But, yeah, that... Yeah, so we're going to have to waste an entire turn doing basically nothing. 
That is unfortunate. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. That, that's a little unfortunate. Because of course we're taking out Rajat. There's no point isolating. And we definitely need to isolate because Harsh Command Plus exists. And again, pretty sure Bramamon moves first. So uh, unfortunately, I literally have to waste a turn doing this. I guess we could have Mila here instead. And then air can be in like a 1% more favorable position. <laughs> Does it really matter? Probably not. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, we can actually just do this. I don't know why this didn't occur to me. It's called defense tactic has two range. Anyways, uh, time to get absolutely obliterated because I missed something in my damage calcs or something, but uh, we wasted an entire turn. It's probably going to stab us in the back, but at least we have Miller's turn wheel. So yeah, there's that, and yeah. Everything seems about correct. Trademark. Um, so the nice thing here is air is uh, a thing. She, she has her action, is the point. And I don't think we need... Uh, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't think we need speed or res buffs. Oh, we, we better be out speeding by a mile anyways in the relevant matchups. So it's mostly just a matter of missing the kill on Dimitri. Uh, let's do this. And of course we're in range of mill. There's no sudden panic or anything. Okay, we calc that out. Do get a pretty decent heal off. Dimitri goes into attack. We get basically net neutral. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> I thought Altino was going to use Harsh Command Plus. But I forgot about the fact that, uh, you know, she can kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Time to throw, Pog. Um... So now it's up to air. Well, that, that was just stupid. Uh, I, Harsh Command Plus only goes off if Triandra's in range to attack. And uh, clearly we, we are too brain dead to remember these things. <laughs> uh, but let's calc to see here if air can beat the good old Bramamond. So we'll have 61 attack, which is a 30... Damage sets 91, 94 overall. Hashtag not rigged. Uh, looks like we <laughs> survive by a whopping 1 HP. Uh, hashtag Milib, I mean air bonus out of 10. That's pretty much what we gotta do, right? And then, of course, it's very linear at that point. Altina moves, dance, and Altina goes to attack someone. Uh, which means we probably want to have Milla in range to bait. But I'm not seeing how we do that yet. I guess we can do this. Okay, I just like... Oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh, wait, no, he used his dragon thing. Why did I calc as if he had dragon thing? Ah, <laughs> uh, but you can see there the 20 plus 30. Like, we, we did our calcs right, at least. Uh... Yeah, that, that's no surprise there. Um, the big thing here is Triandra is going to dance from here. So maybe we don't want to go in immediately? Question mark. Uh, because there's no reason. I don't believe. Triandra should not dance from here. It should be from there. Uh, that is, of course, if Altina. Wait, which way is Altina going? Excellent question. Uh, and I guess at the end of the day, does it really matter? Um, so Mila can have a solid defense stat, so she can wall pretty straightforward and do a bit of damage. She's not going to do a mind-blowing amount of damage, but she is doubling, I believe. So, yeah, she's doubling by a mile. So all we have to make sure is that Altina can't reach anyone else. And of course, that we don't bait immediately because Triandra is also in range and she hurts Mila by a decent amount, I would say. So I think we're just going to do this. And then of course we have to repo here. That's, that's literally our only play. So I'm expecting... Okay, she goes there instead. 
which is just better for us because we get our bonfire off. But yeah, welcome to Goofball Land where we screw up. <laughs> I just screwed up again. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we do this then. And then we can do some jank plays. Just smite along. Don't mind if I do kind of a deal. Triandra is going that way. Yep. So now our main concern is actually killing Triandra in time. Uh, we should be able to break the structure this turn. Um, but we can't pivot off of anything, unfortunately. So we're basically relying on Mila to kill, which she can do it. So I'm not particularly concerned about that. I think Peony here is better because that way we can also get Caden to go in if we need to. So Mila's turn wheel coming into play, but we wasted a turn. And we goofballed and dropped a unit because what's new in the house? We're great at goofballing. I guess Peony can get some SP. So yeah, that was sloppy on my part. Uh, what I what would I have done differently then? It's a good question. We could isolate Tri Triandra. That doesn't really do us much good. That's the problem because Triandra is never going to attack Nino. His Wings of Mercy can't go off. So she just sits in the back and then there's like Bram and Altina. So I think it kind of... I guess it doesn't revert to the... Um, Previous in it? Actually, it does because Bramamond. Oh, yeah. I, I guess maybe that might have worked. Uh, another play I was looking at was baiting and face tanking the Glacies from. So the idea would be to take out Dimitri. And then, since both Rajat and what's her name? Tethys get one round KO'd by Nino. Pretty sure Tharja's, or Rajat's Tome. I don't know why I'm saying Tharja. Uh, I guess it's, uh, what, what's the name? It's not an acronym. Uh, it's an anagram. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Not the greatest there, but it happened to be a single match, so we end up only losing 10 lift, but yeah. I mean, this should be no surprise. You should not. That that really shouldn't be spoilers. <laughs> uh, the defense is a meme, but at least we're in tier 37 at this point. Um, we still have gotten all our ether for every match, so as long as we let's see. So there's two days left in the season, so we've already clinched all our remaining matches. Which means we just have to win them, forehead. <laughs> uh, probably have to win two of them. Two matches, or two sets of ethers worth, so... Um, 100 ethers worth of matches. We have to probably win perfect. if Unless we luck sack on defense. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, enough rambling. That was just silly on my part. I, I'm not sure what I would have done differently, though. But because I'm brain dead right now and can't even remember the map. <laughs> uh, there was, I guess we could have gone for the isolation play on Trihandra and allow the harsh command. Just that I'm pretty sure Bramamon moves first over Altina. So that just gives us an issue where Altina's in range. I guess it might have worked out if we could get Air to take out Bramamond and then have Mila do what she, she did uh, with Altina because no one else would be in range at that point. So maybe it would have worked out if we didn't goofball it. But actually, no, because then we can't get the smite over without Air repositioning or something. So yeah, I'm not, not entirely sure there, but... Uh, until next time, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!